Hi everyone and welcome to the Floss Marketing School. In this video we are going to see how you can reproduce an archive report, um, um, a Matomo archive report within a Metabase. So um, the report that I'm gonna reproduce is the one of the screen resolution here. So I'm gonna reproduce exactly the same report for this given date, for this given uh, site with the resolution and the visits. So uh, let's uh, let's get started. So uh, just to let you know, it took me a while in order to make this tutorial because there's a lot of things to know. Okay, uh, so first of all, when you will start to use uh, Metabase, you will find out that the data may be uh, slightly different. So Metabase is not making any mistake, okay? Metabase is plugged on uh, your database. So in my case, this is my a Matomo database and when you look at it so um, here I'm playing with the table which is the log uh, visit table okay log visits is uh, the equivalent of what you uh, what you have uh, over here which is the visits uh, log okay so this is what we call the raw data so you have uh, all your raw data which are here so in my case as you can see I send the request uh, where I'm saying okay just consider id site equal one and id site equal one is the one that you can see over here right you have several websites but here in my case the root website is id site number one um, here it says that uh, I have in total uh, close to 5,000 uh, lines and in fact each of those lines represent a visit so to say for the full time period for ID site number one I should get 4,925 visits so if I go over here on the overview uh, you see here I have uh, like 330 uh, 33, uh, 373 visits and it means that if I take the full range I should get exactly uh, the amount of visit that I was mentioning you so um, uh, which is close to 5,000 visits okay so here I get this given uh, figure which is exactly the same as the one over here. So it means that uh, the data that I will look uh, over here will be accurate because I have the same amount of visits as over here. Um, what will make crazy, or at least what makes me crazy, is that those numbers were not the same at the beginning when I was playing with uh, with Metabase. And in fact, the issue was coming from the Matomo UI because uh, you may have injected data in the past and this given uh, report is not a raw data report. So this report that we can see here is what we call an archive report. So it means that the data which have been recorded within this one has been just done at a specific time. So if you see that the data which is here does not match the one which is um, over here that I was uh, showing you, what you need to do is that you need to um, activate the development mode for Matomo and then you need to download a plugin which is called the invalidate report in order to ask to Matomo so here I install it the uh, invalidate report in order to reprocess all the data in order for the raw data to be reprocessed and then your archive report to be um, to be accurate okay so uh, let's now go back to the situation that we have so our wish is actually to know uh, for devices uh, the screen resolution so for the full period okay so uh, full period da 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 over here okay full period so this is this is what I want to get at the end of the day uh, just to let you know as well that by default the report are displayed uh, not like this they are displayed by visitors let me refresh that okay our oh, visits still visits okay but by default uh, you don't get the, the visits you get the visitors so that's where uh, you may have actually some differences in terms of data but uh, now let's look at metabase so i have metabase which is uh, running here so this is my uh sorry for that um so in my case it's um well, in any case, ask a question ask a simple question uh simple question based on my um, is it this one? No, it's not this one. Um, hold on. Uh, that's the one that I wanted. Okay. Um, so as you can see, I have here my database, which is selected. 
and I'm having exactly the same number, so 41, 22, 21, 21. Um, so let me, yes, I'm just gonna, uh, this is for the 8th of February, so I'm just gonna go, oh, well, by the way, I could, uh, I could just kick this out, okay, and if I kick this out, um, this one is ordered, still ascending, so this is, if I decide equal 1, I should get uh, 406, 406, you see, 406, 404, 404, 385, 385 and so on and so forth and I should get a total amount of uh, 102 and this is what I get here 102 so how is it possible well I added a filter uh, to my set of data which is id site equal to one then I ordered the count by ascending order and uh, how I did this uh, if I look at the visualization sorry uh, if I look at the uh, if I look at the summarize part, so I just picked up, in fact, the config resolution data uh, that I count, that I grouped as um, resolution. So I just, I just did it like this, and this is how I ended up with the report that I was showing you. Uh, just to let you know, if you are uh, trying to do the same thing on uh, on your Matomo, so for example, for the dev device brand or for the device type and device model. Um, the result may be slightly different because you see here, for example, the model uh, here, uh, Matomo by default in, in his database, just having the generic desktop and then adding an extra layer in order to add the name Apple. So that's why you may find some time uh, slightly different. It works however for the resolution as, as there's no extra um let's the extra process which are which are made to the system and that's it uh, for today so hope it helps you understand a little bit more how you can reproduce archive report in a metabase um, i mean archive report coming from matomonetics thanks for watching